So tRNA or transfer RNA, it's actually you know, one of the most critical molecules of, of life. Um, because what the tRNA does is that it actually samples the mRNA and the code and puts the exact right amino acid onto the growing polypeptide chain for absolutely every protein that is being generated in the body. We're using a lot of machine learning to understand and to harness the massive sequence and modification space that we have in tRNAs. And we are using that to learn the language of engineered tRNAs, for example, so that we can turn that into programmable therapeutics. Therapeutics where we can start saying, uh, these are the characteristics that we need with regards to activity, with regards to stability, with regards to delivery, etc. And in doing so, uh, we can, you know, design these tRNAs so that they very exactly, precisely can target a specific RNAs code. And this in itself is very exciting because what we can do, since we are targeting a specific code, what we can actually do is to think about diseases in a completely different way. Because we can start to think about shared genetic mutations across diseases, and we can actually treat thousands of diseases using one single tRNA medicine. This is actually something that Flagship started thinking about quite some time ago, even long before the pandemic, which is how can we prepare ourselves? How can we preempt threats before they sort of take hold? And how can we be one step ahead? And that is what we call the global pathogen shield. And it was also the offset to a origination we did, we call FL77. So what we've done in FL77 is that we have created an artificial intelligence engine that allows us to predict uh, current variants, current emerging variants, but also future variants that have not yet seen uh, the light of life. Since we have this engine in place that allows us to understand the impact of different variants, we can also use that to start designing variant-proof vaccines so that we already upfront are protected preemptively towards future threats instead of hunting after them. Uh, we try to be you know, on the offense rather than on the defense side of things. Actually, quite recently during the pandemic, my, my goddaughter uh, and her family got us into something else, which was to try horse polo, which is a completely crazy game because you literally have to sit on a galloping horse while you're talking to all your teammates, trying not to crash into one of the other teammates. And at the same time also, you know, trying to hit a small little white ball with a mallet uh, into goal and uh, still sitting on a, a horse in full gallop. I think it's a very nice combination of, you have to think a lot while you're doing it, but you also have to communicate a lot, you know, with yourself, with the teammates, with the horse, and, you know, at the, you know, at the same time, having a lot of fun and um, really being outdoors and just doing something completely different from what you're doing on a daily basis.